main reasons for this quilt project, one being 400 year anniversary, and two being what on earth can you get a lot of people to contribute to? Bearing in mind we're a school of 2,000, in a community of 12,000, what can you get a lot of people involved in? In all sorts of community quilts over the last few centuries, there are stories within them, hidden stories. And that's what I thought would be really interesting to work with with Standing Grammar School. The quilt project is actually five separate quilts. The quilts represent the school, the history of the school, the Standing community, and what the Stenning community feels about Stenning surroundings and Stenning. It's a huge project and there are times when the, the panic comes in when you think, well, perhaps this is really so complicated, are we going to really pull it off? But then that's part of the excitement. <music> Students have been the kickstart of the project. So the first quilt that we have made was actually made by 30 Year 7 students. They really invented for themselves how they wanted to represent something in the local area. This is a quilt that the Year 7s have put together and we're now stitching everything together so it's ready to go up. It's been so much fun doing this quilt project, especially as it's been involved in the school and the community. And I think it's great for the celebration, 400 year celebration for Sending Grandma. Well, my best bit of um, Stenning is the fact that you can go walking on the downs and um, my favourite walk is the lower horseshoe and my panel is a view from the gate. For me, Br Bramber Castle is the centre of the universe in Stenning. This is an impressionistic depiction of a joyous dog. My brother-in-law is now 70 years old and has lived in Stenning all his life and used to be captain of one of the Stenning cricket teams and so that has been my inspiration. There's always an enormous element of storytelling in quilting. Here we're looking at lots of pieces of people's memories, people's lives being joined together and we're using fabric to do that and therefore coming up with a quilt. The designs have very much evolved as the quilts progressed because everybody comes with their own idea about what they would like to include. Some people come with very little idea and we've been able to draw out of them what they would really like to work on. If somebody comes along and they're absolutely helpless and they say, well, you know, but what I really like is this image or that image, but how am I going to do it? That's good. I go around with my 4B pencil and help people put their ideas into a, a makeable form. For quite a few people in the quilt, we've started off by them finding a photograph of the subject matter that they'd like to turn into their square. My role in this has been to take the photographs, produce the imagery which the participants of the quilt will then seize upon and use as the basis for their textile pieces for the quilt. One thing that's come out very strongly for me is the confidence that people have found in themselves. Almost exclusively, people have arrived for the workshops and said, I have no creative skills, I don't know how to sew. So this is the first time I've ever used a sewing machine, and um, crikey. It was a good experience, out of my comfort zone. Very nice, me and the other men doing it. So I'm next people of Standing Grammar School. Being part of the quilt was an opportunity to sort of give back something. The panel that I started working on came from the weather vein. And I think from years of working in um, Stenning as an art teacher, I guess it's the pride of the cockerel and the pride of the students that I've taught. This panel represents musical theatre in Stenning. I think it's very special for the community and for the school to know that so many people have got together and produced these quilts. My four boys all came through Sending Grammar School and they got 
uh, quite interested in drama and I came across these masks and I thought, oh, that's a good idea. This is the symbol of the Woodcraft Folk, which is a national organisation, but there's a very strong group in Stenning, which I was part of from the age of five until um, I was about 18 or 19. I decided to do a panel for the quilt depicting the quilt and put a map in the middle because they're going to have a map in the middle of the big quilt. So I've done um, my own house in the high street. Um, I'm now going to do my parents' house. Uh, they were very much an integral part of, of Stenning. I moved to Stenning because I loved the downs and I loved the dog walking area and I love poppies and I love red. Well, my panel is a depiction of dog walking in and around Stenning. Having lived here for 27 years and explored the countryside around, these are my favourite dog walks. going really well. We've made good progress. Almost 50 squares have been joined together. The challenge has been to get the balance right over the whole quilt because we've got pieces from all sorts of people and done in all sorts of techniques. Our next big challenge is the final putting together of the central of the um, panels, which is the panel that has mostly been done by school and is about school. I think the quilt sums up Stenning Grammar School and what we mean by the Stenning Grammar family and the Stenning Grammar community because what we see there is how students, staff, parents, carers and our wider community all come together to do something that supports an understanding of the heritage that this school has. Seeing the quilt is a really moving experience because every panel you look at tells its own individual story and that I think is what is going to be fantastic about the legacy this quilt provides. I think it's absolutely wonderful that we're going to leave some legacy quilts, something that in the future people will look back at, will talk about this project. And we're looking back over 400 years of the school and these quilts will carry on into the future. I think people have got so excited because they have fond memories of the school, they have very close links with Stenning, and they have found it a way of expressing that without really realising that's what it was going to do. Sewing and creating together is something that people don't normally make time to do. It will be something that will be a lasting memory for me as something I've contributed to the, not only to the school but to the community. Yes, the community thing is, is absolutely the, the essence of the whole thing. It's a little bit of you that, that will stick around and be there forever and I think the fact that a little bit of you is with lots of other people's little, bit, little bits of them is, is even better because it's just what it's about. It's about society and community. When this project comes to fruition and we've got five panels hanging up on a wall, at that point you can celebrate and draw that breath and be proud. Mm -hmm.